Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Today's episode is going to be about the Glock models and the different size comparisons. I've had uh, numerous questions from uh, viewers about different sizes of Glocks, which one's good for concealed carry. Um, a lot of people say, well I just want one overall gun I can use to shoot at the range or carry conceal. And so what I want to do is actually talk about this since people always ask me about sizes and stuff of the different Glocks. So I'm going to show you the Glock family. You first you start off with the large frame Glocks. Um, of course there's also competition models which are longer, but this is the regular. For example, here's a Glock 17, it's a full frame Glock. You go from that to a medium sized Glock, here's a Glock 19. And then you can go to the little uh, mini Glocks, uh, which I like to call, um, for example, this is a G36, or I'm sorry, uh, Glock 36. So if you look at these different sizes, now keep in mind these are uh, different calibers. Uh, my 17 and my 19 are both 9mm, and my Glock 36 is a 45. But uh, what I want to do is actually talk about the different sizes. Um, there isn't that much of a difference between some of the sizes. And if you're looking for something that you may want to carry for both, you may actually go with a mid-size Glock um, versus a mini Glock, depending on what you, your desire is to carry. So with the Glock 17, if I take a look at it, the overall length um, from the very back of here, which is actually the part that protrudes the most, to the very front of the gun, you're looking at just about 8 inches. Um, this is about 8 inches wide, and from a height standpoint, it's about 5 inches. It's about 5 inches high. The Glock 19, uh, which is actually a smaller frame Glock, the overall is about it's about seven and a quarter, so it's actually considerably shorter. So it's a shorter distance. Um, however, the height is still right about five. Um, so these heights are pretty much the same. Um, it's actually probably about a quarter of an inch shorter, but uh, nothing significant. A couple things also to know about Glocks. Um, this is a, a major um, benefit in my mind, and this is what I think every gun manufacturer should do. Um, this is a major problem Heckler & Koch has had for, Heckler & Koch has gotten this wrong for so many times. If I take a look at the Glock 17, you can take any bigger Glock, in fact this is for a uh, Glock 18, I can stick the Glock 18 mag, which is 9mm, into a Glock 17. I can take the Glock 18 magazine and also stick it into a Glock 19 magazine. So all calibers of Glocks, as long as a larger magazine going into a smaller gun, is always interchangeable. A lot of manufacturers, a 45 mag is actually going to be specific to a particular model of gun. There is no magazine changes between the gun models. The Glock is actually very good about allowing you to do that um, pretty much most of the time. So then if I go down to the mini Glock, the mini one overall length is about under seven, but the, uh, the height is closer to about four inches. Um, depending on which type of magazine bottom you have, you could have a uh, magazine extender which actually stick the gun out a little further. But the nice thing about these locks, is they're very reliable. Um, for the price, if this is your very first gun, there's no uh, safety mechanisms to uh, muck around with. You've got the double trigger safety system, but there's no uh, actual safety systems you have to actually push on the guns. Um, they're very fast. They're very easy to operate and they're very easy to take apart and maintain. Um, you can get a lot of dirt in it. You can forget to clean it for quite a while and it's still going to always shoot on you. They're very reliable. They're pretty accurate. Not as accurate as an H&K, but uh, you know, you're know you almost saving about uh, half the amount of money. So I just want to go ahead and cover those. Um, that being said, if I were to recommend models, Glock 17 is definitely, uh, 17 the full frame models are definitely good range guns. The Glock 19 isn't quite as good of a range gun, it's a little shorter barrel, but uh, if you are going to do a concealed carry under a shirt, the Glock 19 models and the mid-sized Glocks work out real good. If you want to really get small and do something for an ankle uh, carry, you need to go really with the mini Glocks. So if I were to, you know, I get the same question asked over and over again, if I need a gun that's going to be good both for concealed carry and for the range, I would probably actually go with the mid-sized Glock. Um, if you live in a state where you have no option of getting a concealed handgun license, there really is no reason to go with any of these smaller models. You just need to go with the full frame models. Um, you get better accuracy, they end up being actually cheaper. Smaller guns actually cost more. 
So you save a little bit of money and the practical purposes of uh, a smaller gun means you lose accuracy. And if you can't conceal it in your state anyways because you can't get a license, there's no reason to get a smaller gun. So that being said, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Remember, I answer emails only to the info at CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. If you have any questions, please email me and uh, I'll try to address them in future episodes if, uh, if I'm able to. Thank you and I'll see you next week.